Oh, that was a late call. I have been noticing this week that some of the calls have been a bit dodgy, but that was out. Players have been having a long, hard look at the lines people. Got a good serve, big forehand, they're the two weapons. Courts, what, medium pace, Joe, looking at the yeah, first Yeah, I mean, it, it looks so much slower than last week in Paris, and it yeah. is, so there have been a, a lot longer points going on. Qualified at uh, the Gold Coast, the first event of the year. Bacinski lost in the first round of Flavia Panetta of Italy. Lost in qualies in Sydney and in Paris. Beautiful touch. But qualified at the Australian Open, the Swiss. Lost in the second round to the 31st seed, Sanya Mirza of India. 7-5 in the third to chart her year so far. Nothing wrong with that. Well, there we go. As I said, she can play every single shot in the book. game in a match this big pretty impressive well she's handling it well and she usually is a very confident player Timea and uh, has a confident stride on court and of course Justine I'm, I guess will be feeling a certain amount of pressure playing here at mm. home the crowd desperate for her to do well I suppose in a way it would feel like her home major yes Justine I'm to say so you've done well in all the others, winner of seven majors. Closing in on $20 million in prize money, Justine. first match Justine was a set 3-1 down and uh, managed to claw back and uh, her second match even though it was 4-3 and three, took an hour and 50 minutes more or less so it, it has been hard for her this week so far we always talk about confidence German how much do you think she would have lost after the mauling at the hands of Sharapova and Melbourne I just think she would have been so kind of angry and frustrated at what happened that she'd gone straight to the practice court. That's a brilliant point. It really is a fine tennis from the pair of them. But yeah, I just think that Justine always thinks she's got to improve and got to keep ahead of the others and that'll just spur her on more. Mm. about using the slash back hand again. Mm. It was dealt with very easily, wasn't it? 
As you can see, he's got a, a lovely backhand. She can hit either way on it. Coming to the net afterwards as well, just in case. every point with the crowd but a break point for the 18 year old these are long hard points already Baczynski really moving well to get back into it the crowd too well she's not overawed at all is she Tamea? I mean, she's standing toe to toe at the moment with Justine some really good points and she's maneuvering the ball around the court really well too crowd already having to work hard for their player everywhere I think uh, she's a threat because she doesn't mind what situation she's in in the court she can produce shots from everywhere oh! it's she at the moment that looks like a veteran of these sort of matches Fearless youth, eh? Hmm. Oh! Taking a while to get used to her opponent's game as well. Remember, this is a first meeting, a first look at each other. Because this young woman will know exactly what to expect from the other end. Having seen Justine play so many times. Two, a love game to improve the lead and uh, surprisingly maybe to everybody but the 18 year old it's three love in the opening set who played with a ball made of socks. I grew into a man who played in teams that made history. I never expected to fly so high. Especially when I look back on my humble beginnings. I believe studying is fundamental and determination brings rewards.
There is not such thing as a born champion. If everybody had this opportunity, when I was young, when I was young, who knows what kind of competition I'd have been up against. First point of the fourth game. Certainly some anxious looks from Justine back to her coach, Carlos Rodriguez. The first clenched fist there. 15, love. It's been an impressive start from her opponent. Mm, it really has, and I think Justine has actually got to be at her best at the moment mm. to try and break Timea down. And I would expect really uh, Enan to start hitting it a little harder. Mm. I think at the moment she's, she's kind of at a certain pace that Pachinski doesn't really find that awe inspiring. Yeah. Urale is coming out now with the clenched fist after the first point. Yeah, it's, it's almost as if she's the first couple of games. It was as if to say, right, well, let's see what she's like. Yeah. Let's see whether she's going to be nervous or overawed. Or yeah, well, I think all those questions have been uh, very quickly answered. Left for service. scoreboard the world number one and you can expect a real surge here loves Budapest as uh, Baczynski parents are Hungarian and uh, Catania Sicilian so it's quite a mix living in Belmont's uh, Lausanne She had a lot of time though, didn't she? Again, to set up for the shots and then, then she's very sure of herself. Mm. is a bit harder hit now from Enna and needs must really she is under a lot of pressure Well, 
the LA's are coming thick and fast now. 15, Pressure building. They're both breathing, breathing very heavily. Again, isn't it? Because it yeah. falls in the air a long time. Yes, and then when it hit the course, it hardly bounced at all. Because I thought Justin would be there in plenty of time. Yeah. Watch, you can see the ball spinning through the air, and I'm amazed really that uh, Justin didn't make more of it. She's on the back foot initially, wasn't she? Mm. Break back point though. Well, the first shot we've seen from Baczynski that has gone awry, really, that was uh, taken a little late. high on her, able to hit through it. And I'm still not stringing enough together. Doesn't look particularly comfortable with the pace of the court or the bounce of the court. Hearing and reading some of what she's been saying in her interviews, that her timing hasn't been there, and she has been struggling, as you say, Chris, trying to just get a hold of the bounce. Mm. getting up and through that backhand. Second break point of the game. Back on serve, the opening set. Big game that. Double forward on the game point for Baczynski. She'll feel bruised. 3-2 now. First set.
Kepa back on track. 2-3 first set, just raising the stakes there. And uh, Yes, but I still think anxious looks. I mean, I know she normally does look a bit like that anyway, but uh, yes. she is really being pushed so far today. And of course, being such a great champion as she is, she'll work something out. Yeah. If Baczynski can keep this going, and I think she might be able to, you know. She's playing so well and she's very talented, so mm. this could be hard all the way to the end of the match. 2-3, first set. Like He's used to winning, had so many wins as a junior. It's one of the best juniors in the world, competing at the back end of majors at junior level. We'll certainly have a lot of self-belief. Oh! It's showing. to reinforce the timing theory. talk as well with Carlos Rodriguez about coming to the net more that could become a must if she's really unhappy yeah. with her timing well, yeah I agree with you Chris I, I do think she'll start coming to the net more again. But Berczynski was waiting for the return, that second serve, not deep enough. So another Belgian net. Not a pretty shot. She's trying to force it. Well, I'm not surprised she she is trying to force it, but uh, that was all over the place. Body turned before the racket had uh, started the swing. So more break points. Mm. Second point, she's one behind her second serve. Only getting 47% of first serves in as well at the moment, Justine. Double to concede the break. In the crowd go quiet, not surprisingly. 
4-2 the lead. World number one in trouble here. Unsettled. And out of form. Mm, I, I think the whole of this week so far has been a struggle. And uh, we don't see any different here. But also because Baczynski is playing a great match so far. Yeah. Super move, a certain volley as well, to back up what you were saying earlier, Joe, about an all-court game. It's great to watch. Mm. She's really taking it to Justine, isn't she? <laughs> she is, and very confidently. I mean, that's a super volley. A big serve. And we know how fit she is. This is her seventh match of the tournament. over a week seven to win a major of course over two weeks oh! try to clap anything at the moment as long as Justine wins the point A very strange approach shot from Justine. That she was right there to belt it and played it right mm. back to her opponent. Here we go, and that goes nowhere. Mm. That's strange. to the lead and it looks comfortable expression has barely changed terrific performance so far we're looking at a future top tenor at the very least here i know justine is far far from her best as we've seen so far but take all things into account mm. This is a star in the making. I, I certainly think she's going to be a fine player, Baczynski, I, I really do. And uh, you know, at the age of 18, there's a, a long career ahead of her, as long mm. as she can keep fit and healthy. She's an exciting player. She's just got everything, as you're saying, and that's what's so exciting for me. And there's been so much talk about the baseline battles and so on, but she's not afraid to serve and volley. She'll mm. come in behind the back end. I mean, she talks about forehand being a big shot. I mean, the backhand so far in this match is, is clearly the star of the show behind the serve. Yeah, probably the, the backhand more solid than the forehand and, well, it's just lots to look forward to, especially with her coach as well. New balls for NN. 2-5 down, first set. goes on. First time I've seen her try and get to the net after a serve and she's been practicing that in Australia, hasn't she? The yes. serve and volley. Yeah.
amazing thing to say, but at the moment, Paczynski's too good. Mm. Hitting a couple of lines, very sure of herself again. But she doesn't look, though, she's way outside her comfort zone, no. does she? It looks as though I can do this all day long. Yeah, with you. She hits round the ball so well, which sort of gives that feel, doesn't it? Mm. as if Justine's lacking something. She's trying to hit it and there's just, as you said, there's not a lot coming back down the court. No, the, the average ball is just not good enough at the moment from Justine. Too much work on the ball, not enough hit through it. Mm. Three set points now. First serves, helping Justine out. Two set points saved, one to go. Light for service. I'm lucky. He's only held serve once in the match so far, the best player in the world, and seriously up against it here. Baczynski, well worth the opening set. 6-2. the VIPs from the ATP hit the road in the USA. Book your seats ASAP. A brand new series emerges in the East. Up and coming stars get dream breaks in GP2 Asia. Modern day gladiators fill the arenas of North America. Facing off in full contact to the delight of adoring crowds. Enter the critical stage. Pose a simple question. What's it going to be? Progress or elimination? Righteous riders, pipe masters and board lords. All holding TTRs to the stars. Man and bike, explore the limits of man and bike. All on show in February on Eurosport 2, New Generation Sports Channel. Just over half an hour, the world number one in big trouble here, set down in this first of the women's semi-finals of the Proximus Diamond Games. 18-year-old qualifier, Tamer Baczynski, 6-2 and looking at ease with everything here right now. Oh! 
The other semi-final, Li Na, champion of the Gold Coast, the ninth seed from China, also on her debut against another debutante in this event, Karin Knapp of Italy, the 20-year-old. That uh, this evening. not be bringing you the other semi-final but you'll see the final live tomorrow on Eurosport 2 at 1 o'clock in the UK 2 o'clock Central European time and for Justine to feature in what would be her second final appearance here having never won the tournament she has got some serious work to do what needs to be done getting herself through the shot a lot more you can see absolutely getting everything into it and therefore getting more pace on it Baczynski took the opportunity of having her coach courtside at the end of the opening set. Air fan Jahangiri. Hope I'm saying that right. Apologies if I'm not. He looked very relaxed, just like his player. Mm. Just a little chat about the first set and what to do from here on in. And mm. This is the sort of run of the mill match. breaks at the start of the second changes the scenery will it change the course of the match oh, well I, I don't know it depends if she starts serving a bit better because at the moment the stats are horrendous for her 39 percent of first serves in doing quite well on the first serve once it goes in but the second serve still only won two points wow. out of 14 so uh, got to think about what to change mm. Certainly more first serves in. on the second serve way over to the right so she got loads of side spin on the ball You hear the groan that goes around yes. every time Justine misses a shot. Which I guess you have to put up with, because then you get the other side of it when they yeah. make so much noise when you hit a good shot. Sort of welcome to life as a home major, isn't it, really? Mm. The Brits, the Americans, the French and the Aussies know what it's really like to play at home for the major crowns. In terms of that support. So throughout her career, serve can be as absolutely brilliant. When you think of her size, five feet five and three quarters, one meter sixty-seven, but at times it does go a wall. Mm. She was not happy with that, was she? find any real rhythm. Great back points. Mm. 
looked uncomfortable, didn't it? Mm. For service. Oh, she's really fighting, fighting the court, the bounce herself at the moment. herself the first time. Only held serve once in the match so far. At least skipping around the backhand to try and go for a forehand and this was a nice steadying pass. Goodness, that only just crept over. Cheers. Oh, Pachinski's furious with herself with the miss hit on a break point. But she's shown good temperament so far. Off the bottom of the frame, such an exaggerated Western grip. She's getting something going. Mm. Just the serve is very jerky. The ball toss seems to be wavering around. She's never quite sure where it is. the world number one at work, is it? <laughs> it's a real struggle for her. But uh, all credit to Bashinsky, who's playing a super match so far. Third break point of the game. Much better. Real purpose. Well, that's what Anand has really got to force herself to do needs some good first serves to set this up though to keep the return low because the certain volley tactic certainly would have surprised most mm. she almost looks as though she was expecting it she was ready yeah and look justine is having a couple of steps behind the service line yeah great point again
Yes, a couple of framed shots now for Baczynski. Certainly looking to play that way, wouldn't you, Joe? Yeah. Because the forehand doesn't look anywhere near as solid as the backhand. No, I agree. Surprised she, if she's having trouble with her first serve, why not slice a few in, take the pace off, mm. make it awkward. Well done. A really nice first serve. Whether I would have served and volleyed on it, not sure really. In the game, a big game right here. She knows it. Look at that. <laughs> Not making a return. Another play there, Paczynski. Mm. game point she served a double fault it's becoming an issue it's like five now I think so there's still only two points is it behind the second serve one uh, she won six behind the second serve now out of 22 points wow another miss it and as you say just slide it out there don't necessarily serve and volley <laughs> an instant reward do no harm just hitting a slice down the tee here mm. just to get the first serve in Damn. pattern emerging as to how to get the winning ticket Well, you know, that's what it's all about, tennis, is working it out when you're on court. OK, you can get your coach on a couple of times now, but uh, really it's down to you. And within that game, Justin struggled and struggled and uh, found the answer at last. Yeah. So five break points in it. Thinking of Pashinsky. Face a drop shot with two hands. It's a great get, wasn't it? Mm. Too. And that will make Baczynski think a bit more about her serve as well.
Thank the hardest hot sh shot she's hit. Easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the contrast, look at the backhand there, so much harder and deeper than the forehand. Mm. It's way short and no pace on it at all. It's almost like she hits around it too much. Yeah. And they're showing a lot of emotion too. Mm. Oh! Oh, Huge game this for the Swiss. Keep it to 2 1 as opposed to 3 love double break. Pressure will certainly be kept on the world number one. the court by Baczynski. She's not afraid to go side to side. Baczynski does keep it to the single break and with it her hopes alive in this second set here. This is fascinating seeing how the world number one is going to deal with this. Fantasy Tennis Game is here. Subscribe now for free. Choose your players and prove yourself as the best team boss. Fascinating jewel here, Joe. It really is. Mm. No, it's still hanging in the balance, that's for sure. And uh, this next service game, again, very interesting to see if uh, NL will keep serving the slice serve to mm. Baczynski's forehand. I mean, would you, in, in her shoes, would you be playing, what, 90% of the forehand on ground stroke shots as well, just to see if you can break it mm. down or at least soften it up to, to be able to dominate? Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of slices, especially my backhand slice, I'd try and drift it down to her forehand side, and, and Justine's got a great slice backhand yeah. to use that. 2-1, second set. case of getting the first serve in did the job <laughs> A 
look of uh, how could I do that? This encounter is from a, from a watching point of view. To see the world number one, having to struggle to work it out. To see Federer struggling more of late. Mm. See him having to work out how to win. Normally they win so many matches so comfortably. Mm. It's almost like new territory again for them. Yes. Good for the sport. Mm. Not just them playing badly either, it's their opponent. Absolutely. You know, Baczynski today's played a great match so far. Close, not happy about the court. No Hawkeye here. Yeah. She might have a case. Uh, yeah. It's hard when you can't challenge. Dang. But holds. I'll put a spring in her step. And it's by three games to one. Yeah, so just a few more serves. First serves, especially going in, not trying to belt it. I think sometimes she tries to hit the first serve so hard. Yeah. And then there, that was a very good first serve, nice and deep. Hold on. And the important thing was the forehand return went into the bottom of the net. Mm. It didn't even look like it was going to be made. Yep. Haven't seen anything like that off this preferred backhand side. Yeah, looking there to return to the backhand. Jeez, isn't it? Yes. When you actually just watch the points in that, with that in mind. It really is. Not always clear to you on court, though. No. <laughs> so easy from here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You can see patterns it's sort of from afar. You can see the patterns more clearly. Probably Carlos shaking his head there. <laughs> Turn, isn't it? To the forehand, jamming her in. Needs a big first serve here. Pajinski. Movement sharp looking for the ball gradually Justine getting herself going but the return again back to the forehand sets it up and a break point Seemed almost to be reaching for it at the end. Yeah. But the forehand is barely getting over the service line from Baczynski. Mm. The last one was well inside the service line. Just not thinking clearly on court, that's for sure. Well, you can see 
with the gestures and the looks. But Justine is very frustrated with what's going on. At first service. Jinsky maybe will never get a better chance to beat Justine Annan, the world number one, than she will do this afternoon. Saves the break point. 2-3, second set. coverage of all the matches with live comments and scoring and exclusive breaking news. Don't miss the new football season at eurosport.yahoo.com. Two, second set. I wonder if she's urging herself on. Well, I'm not quite sure why Justine isn't 4 and up. So they're only 3 2. I mean, she must be very frustrated with how the last game went. So she's urging herself now to take it on even more. It's so important when you're urging yourself, not just good, another good point. How was the point played? It was a good serve to the forehand, shorter return, big forehand into the forehand, come in behind it, no real threat, put the ball away. You've got to replay it in your mind, haven't you, all the time, as we see the replays. Just to chart the waters ahead. So easily said than done. Yeah. Seventh double. Super game, apart from the double fault, 4 2 the lead. Justine is so good at bounce smashes. 
I love the way she sets up for it. Laying into the forehand. Now it's feet, 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 right place, bang. coming but slowly and surely Justine is turning this around it's a good second serve because a few times Justine has skipped out wide to release the forehand so it's a clever play Showing no signs of fatigue yet after the enormous amount of points and matches she's played so far in the event. Shots like that, isn't it? When you're out of touch and you're not timing it brilliantly, you never seem to really make those, no. do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You just say, oh, there's another one gone. <laughs> yes. Back to basics. Yep. Persisting with this return to the back end, not really mm. looking on that side, the left side, to go down the line to the forehand. Well, Bashinsky's doing well to stay in this. Consistency of the flow from Anna, and this match is still very much open for a two-set win for the 18-year-old Swiss number two. It's all about not the easiest day at the office, but just keep at it. Yes, as I said, I think that Justine is turning it around, but. Uh... Tamea's doing a good job of sticking in there, and even though her forehand is a bit shaky at the moment, she's making enough on her own service game, and she's just got to concentrate on that, try and get her serve, have a go at Justine. Hope Justine gives her a few of those second serves that she can have a go at. Mm. Pretty cool character he looks, doesn't he? Mm. Yeah, fan. Dashanjiri. Well, he's Mr. Cool for years, isn't he? Hard taskmaster. <laughs> the mentor more than the coach the father figure too for Justine over the last 11 years or so don't be panicking yet we need to keep a grip here and then 4-3 second set last game with these balls off that sort of forehand. It's weird what we're seeing here. There you go, another miss it from Bashinsky. And it's been happening more and more. Justin hits it hard at the forehand. 
し。With you, Chris, I, I really do not understand why Enan is feeding the backhand. Serve goes to it, second shot. And here we go again. It's exactly where Timea wants it. It's almost as if she's worrying just too much about how she herself is playing, Enan as opposed to how she should be playing and approaching it. Yeah. Again, as we've said so many times, so easy from here, mm. analyzing the points and replaying the selections. They're pretty clear once it's been done. That goes wide, two forehands on the service line with no pace and an error off them. It makes no sense what we're seeing here, apart from a world number one, just completely out of sorts and all yeah. over the place. Yeah, because I really thought at full two that would be the set really for Justine. It looked as though she'd got it together, but uh, here we go, more break points. And a few more shots going to that forehand side. This is the one skipping around with her feet. Lovely move. Still break point. Had five in the opening Enan game this set, remember? And couldn't get the break back then. It's interesting that on the left court side, Bacinski is looking to run round the forehand to hit backhand returns. Yes. That is so clear, the message, about where she is with her game. This forehand of the point, tamely into the net. doesn't like to come off the pace and power of the first serve and that was hit with quite some force a game away from a set all. Phew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Being dangerously again, Justine, but, you know, she's got that game, so pretty good in the end because she used this forehand.
couple of real struggles on serve. Seven break points, I make that, that uh, Baczynski's had in this set. New ball serving to stay in it at 3 5. swing footwork as well as what she should have done she's got a winning mentality Baczynski that's for sure It's a real cheer. <laughs> He's just he won the point. And even the backhand is missing now for Timea. to get this set over with yeah. <laughs> trying to be the aggressor now Three points in a row from the perilous love 30 position. Well, the thing is, it's still not overwhelming from you know. So Baczynski obviously thinking to himself, well, if I hang on still, yeah. you never know, the mistakes might come. We've seen problems with a serve, Enna. Seven doubles so far. Just about again, I'd say just in in control of this point many times because of that forehand landing on the service line from Paczynski. required really because she waits for the right ball to attack as she did here could be a one horse race still set point now the writing on the wall for the 18-year-old. 
Still not the best from Enna, but good enough to take this match the distance. Third set from the Sport Palais in Antwerp, live next. These girls can serve up a storm of digs and spikes. The unprepared just get blown away. Women's Champions League unleashes the second leg of the playoffs. Thursday, live on Eurosport 2. Playing in the top 14, the disciples of French rugby are spreading the good game into the hearts and playing fields of many. Easy when you practice what you preach. Top 14, another big hitting fixture from day 11, Friday, live on Eurosport 2. So again, air fan Dashan Jiri, courtside with Tamea. What would he be saying, do you think, Joe? Well, he's urging her on, isn't he? You see by the body language and what he's saying. Maybe, you know, for her to up the pace and sort of drive Time. through the forehand rather than just hoping that Justin's going to hit losers. I think she now has to be more of a threat yeah. again. But, uh, you know, difficult out there to try and make something happen when a stroke's going... You're a little bit awry. Final sets. And she looks most determined, though. As the whole match has been so far. It's fascinating the watch right now at the start of the third set. Just about an hour and a half. Left. So far. serve to the forehand. That's all she really needed. Yeah, I mean, it sets the point up and she wasn't in too much of a rush to hit the lines. It's not that one that's going to be a winner every time because she's now at the net to put the volley away. Yeah. Very hard. As you get calmer, you can think a little bit more clearly. That's the trouble in tennis. <laughs> what happened to think, you mean? Well, that's <laughs> a big problem for a lot of us. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's good. But when you're in a bit of a panic, you, you, you can't think. You think you have to play everything really, really well when really sort of 80% would be good enough. Yeah. Ah! First love game of the match for Enna. It's only the second love game, all in. But a good start to the third set and of course it's the dreaded scoreboard syndrome as well isn't it if you're playing the scoreboard in your mind mm. the most important thing then just get get to 30 or get to 40 yes. 30 not how to as we've yeah. been stressing throughout so much of it in the head of course it separates all levels the clarity of thought the execution of plans good move. I think she enjoyed that. Nice to have a, a run and then hit a backhand. Yes. But again, you know, Justine's trying to go at that forehand. The 
needs this game. Achinsky, that is. Justine's got other thoughts. She's enjoying it, isn't she? She is, and I think she knows. Oh, that was just too good. I'm trying my hardest. But at this point, no way could I win it. I mean, it's such an excessive grip. There's massive amounts of topspin. Mm. Would you, what would you be suggesting on the forehand? For well, uh, you, you, if you got that grip, and that's how you play, you haven't half got to believe in getting the racket head through quickly. Yeah. As soon as you pull off it, it's when all the trouble starts. Time. She's still struggling to deal with it, mm. Anna, because it's got a lot of loop on it. Sort of the ball is rearing up very quickly off the bounce. You almost just got to trade with that, haven't you? Mm. Yeah, I think you know Justin can take her time now and yeah. uh, just sort of go after the forehand until she gets absolutely the right shot. the ball now much earlier she's standing inside the baseline Anna that means she doesn't have to keep going to the forehand it's very easy to now attack either side up in this game remember this will be a cruel blow for the 18 year old to get broken Clever going down the middle because you know Justine wants to run round her backhand and hit a forehand. Just about 
holding in and it's all up to Enna at the moment. Holds, saves the break point. Ties up at the start of this third set. But it's plain to see what Justin needs to do, and that is attack more, go to the forehand, wait for the easy shot, but even at the end of that game, she had some easy shots and still missed them. Yep. Not quite as she would like. floaty one down the line to the forehand we talked about some time ago mm. couldn't handle it at all Hachinski no she's only played a couple of those so far and I think they're they make a, a devastating shot against Bashinsky <laughs> wonderful pass helped by the left court of course Apology for it. A couple of games worth. would be interested to see how Bashinsky plays and what happens when she's under severest pressure you know what goes and it's being very plain to see that the forehand is the sort of weakest link if you like Final set. Then it was a, a hard game, actually, and uh, still going to need some work to finish this match from Justin. The first of March sees the start of a big hit. <laughs> Arena Football League, live on Eurosport 2. as played by champions volleyball's champions league all season long live on eurosport 2 terrific center court here at the sport palais in antwerp Time. huge stadium enjoyed by those that are in this first semi-final it's a real battle for the belgian number one the world number one of course 
Justine Ennan. Got a nose in front, final set. So huge games, all of these service games for 18-year-old Tomea Baczynski. One, two, third set. That's the thing I liked. It was her momentum of movement into the stroke took her to the net. It's that first serve, Machinsky. didn't panic yeah that really was a good pass kept her head again Justine's trying to rush her by coming in Softening the points up again. 15, 14. It doesn't look much, does it, that uh, slice backhand? But I can tell you, to someone who has a Western grip, it really hurts. Mm. And that will too. Daylight now in the third for Enna. Will that allow her to freely relax? You would imagine so. Taking a long while though, an hour and 45 minutes approximately. To put herself into the ascendancy. You can see the huge difference between first and second serves. And that's got a lot better on the second serve from a little while ago. Oh, it's a shame for Tamir. It's the kind of point she was playing in the first set. She had uh, Justin running all over the court using this big backhand of hers. It would be easy to start feeling tired in a minute, wouldn't it? Mm. Justine will want to finish it kind of too fast that she'll want to hit winners from all over the court and I think this set she's been very wise the, the choice of pace and shot she's been playing Still very capable of causing damage. 15, 15. And still fighting.
good move by Justine because with her grip you really want to go cross court and you can put spin on it. Down the line's a little harder. of direction She hasn't been able to rely on her serve throughout most of the match, so it's nice when she can put two in a row in. Three points in a row to secure a 4-1 lead final set. Nudging towards the finishing line. Must win service game next for Baczynski. Highly trained groups of men at the ready to give all for club and glory. Now dig in for playoffs. In Operation New Left Cup, two great games, Tuesday, live on Eurosport 2. Not exactly a purple patch like the court for Enan, but getting it done, turning it around slowly but surely. The expression barely changes at the change of ends these days. Time. Wachinski out, ready to get on with it. What a great tournament's been for oh. her and her coach. The qualifier, of course, ranked 94 in the world. Mm, fantastic. I mean, this is a, the seventh match, just over a week. She's playing the number one in the world. What more do you want when you're 18? shot to play just did she need to hit it quite so hard She deserved it. It was a really good move by Tamir. She covers the ground well, doesn't she? Yeah, she certainly does. Reads the game well. She's barely been one footed in the match. You could understand the reason for the ghost in. Yes. Kind of floated in the air. And there's Justine's running back. She's keeping a beady eye on where her opponent is. Different version of Hawkeye here. <laughs>
courts really have helped today. There's about four to the dismay of the crowd and their opponent. Yes, quite a loose net, so he's going to jump up and over. <laughs> She's like, not again, <laughs> twice in one game. Thought she'd made it, clearly. Well, that would have been her first ace. No wonder she was so up for it. Oh, is that in? Looked it, didn't it? Oh, well, there you go. They will say it evens itself out during a match. <laughs> now, that's a nice sight. <laughs> you don't often see that in the middle of a match. No. Bashinsky actually moved, did she? No. What a wonderful stroke. Yeah. Like first place. down the court from Enam because that took some strength and a bit of luck. It was a bit lucky, wasn't <laughs> it? I think I'd look at my opponent and go, okay, you can get that angle. Going backwards, nine times out of ten, it's a good shot, but I think that was the one out of ten. Asking some questions, the 18 year old. Yes, certainly. Bajinski's coming back at Enam with a bit more pace of her own again, especially off the backhand side. So, still not quite straightforward for Justine. I wish they could do that. <laughs> Everyone seems to be able to do it now, Chris. <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> Sliding on a hard court. Serve is really coming good at the most crucial time here. That'll really give her a boost to be able to rely on it, as you said earlier. It's not been easy, but cherished when it's there. only just crept over the net from Bashinsky. And then Anne looks as though she didn't really know what to do with it. a miracle isn't it how high it is when she hits it too in relation to a body that's shoulder height mm. and that backhand grip is as extreme as a western grip on the forehand yeah. really so far around Oops. 
ninth double. Position. Fighting her hardest, and Justine being pushed to the limit. set she's not marching to victory she's certainly improving yes well like uh, her other two matches this week a bit of a struggle but getting there in the end Angie Bashinsky I'm sure will have a bit to say about it she's not quite out of it yeah line personnel YMCA blasting out through these speakers here Joe's doing all the hand signals <laughs> <laughs> very funny <laughs> time all the rage now isn't it tennis tournaments to have the music at the changeovers try and keep the crowd amused they certainly had to uh, work hard to see their Home player get into this 5-2 lead from the French-speaking part of Belgium, of course. Saint Anne, born in Liège. Achinsky serving to stay in the semi-final. 2-5, third set. Oh, Only just, but that's the kind of backhand that really has caused problems for Enan during most of the match. points that Bashinsky hasn't won when she's come to the net because she's a clever player and knows the right moves. to march a little now sets up two match points
finish it in style. Timaeus kept her in the point and the match. It was a tight forehand, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. She's a good drop shot player, but why then? Third match point. Cheers. And showing this great winning mentality, refusing to give up and go away enjoyed all her journeys here this week she wants more we could still get a lot more from this match absolutely Gritted teeth, chance to reduce the deficit. Three match points saved. We've seen the last couple of service games, Justine serving so much better. This is going to be a fascinating <laughs> game again now. Yes, yeah, so it's again a little bit of a tight forehand. And Enna does need to keep the good serving up because if Bajinski's just getting up, still got a chance here. She's hitting the ball well again. New ball serving for the match 5-3 third set brilliant well, certainly the backhand side is a weapon she's driving through it it's setting up the points good use of the new balls too yeah shot at all from Justine halfway up the net an ordinary rallying shot how about the slice to the forehand and read it well the play Baczynski was there for the forehand and knows it
was a shame. Mashinsky's favourite shot goes missing. chance now for the world number one. second time in the tournament and Anne comes from a set behind to win it's her second final here her 57th career final there